Well, good morning from the bridge. Good. Well, afternoon, afternoon. from the bridge. <laughs> Sorry, this is coming out late today, guys, but oh, the time had finally come that uh, Benet and Eric had to say goodbye and carry on with their vacation. And no, nope, I had enough. I just said, "Go, go now, get on out of here and get." No, I didn't. No. <laughs> he had a bromance, total bromance, of course, but. It was just such a beautiful visit. And What's none a of romance us... and girl? Would you have a girlmance? Yeah, that's a really good question. I I don't know. If you know what that's equated to, put it in the comments so we know. But yeah, we just we spent the morning. We had a beautiful breakfast. Uh, of course, yesterday I made biscuits and gravy. Today we used the leftover gravy to make uh, my skillets. Uh, Benet and I actually ventured into sourdough baking so we baked our first sourdough bread a little dense i didn't like the recipe so take two but it's actually really really good as toast uh not upset at all it's just a little more dense as like far as the bread goes but the flavor is amazing but of course i sent benet home with some sourdough starter as well so uh just a beautiful visit we've we've had an amazing morning but whooped and in the best way possible. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, as always, you know, we, we love entertaining. So them being here, you know, we were grateful yeah. for that. And we haven't had a lot of opportunities really of entertaining here, especially for, you know, out of town friends and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. to be able to get everything set up to where they could come, they were super comfortable. Um, and we just had a great time. I mean, it's the first time that I got to meet either one of them. And honestly, it was like hanging out with old friends, you know, yeah. it, not like a first time meeting. And that was awesome. Um, we got some work done. You know, we did. Wait for that. Because I'm actually, when we're done with this, the reason we're on the phone uh, doing the upload is because I have video footage loading into the Matrix so that I can get a video out for y'all. Because I know I didn't get one out yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Tuesdays are our normal video day on the main channel. But I'm sorry, I was not going to take time away to sit behind the camera or behind the computer for several hours. So, uh, I but, but it allowed us, like she said, we got some more footage. We got some more hanging out time together. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the weather today, though, guys, is when Brutal. total 180. Like We started off the first day they came and we're t-shirts. It's hot, warm, Tank sunny. Yeah, everything's yeah. great. And then... Now it's back to car hearts, and I hope you're wearing ankle weights because that wind is blowing today. Yeah. Like, they're 35, 40 mile an hour. Good thing I've got everything strapped down. Uh-oh. We can't be having to go down to the other side of the deck because stuff just keeps blowing off. Yeah. But, um, no, it was, just, it was just a gorgeous visit, even if the wind and the rain, it was here. And I guess that's just the biggest thing, like, one of the big questions I had was why, why in the world did it take Benet and I 34 years to reconnect? Like why? I know our lives get crazy and we go every day in our lives just kind of wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. And then before you know it, you've wash, rinse, repeated for 34 years. And I, I think that's, I don't do well with goodbyes, but, uh, so if I'm a little sappy, that's why, but you know, just why, like, why did it take us 34 years to finally reconnect? And actually not that we haven't reconnected cause we, you know, we stayed friends on Facebook and we've always like interacted and, you know, things like that, but to actually be face to face again and be able to hug and, and, <clears throat> but I think that's part of the beauty, you know, like. I'm obviously I'm not a big hey why right things all happen for a reason we don't have to understand because most of the time we we don't have the capability of understanding yeah. um, but it's the joy and the pleasure of being able even after 34 years to have a connection yeah. you know like I I've got friends that I know that you know for 20 30 years now and you know we might go 10 years without talking or you know but you get together and it's like you never were apart, and I think that's just a true testament to, you know, just good people. And, yeah. you know, and so much happens in that time. Like, I've reconnected with friends that didn't go well. You know, they thought, hey, you're still that 
same crazy, you know, 17 year old kid that's ready to go out and party and do all this. And, you know, but that's not the case. Like it's, you know, so to have something go well, you know what I mean? Like you count those blessings and you know that that's a true testament of, of a good friendship and a good connection. And, yeah. you know, we both had a great time. I it mean, like I, said, I, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't worried at all. I, I just, I was like, so excited and, you know, being able, for, I, I was excited for all of it and not just to get, you know, to get to hug Benet again, but, you know, to entertain and, and cook for them. Cause y'all know cooking is my love language and, <clears throat> and just be able to spend that time together and more than just like going out to eat or whatever, you know, we actually had extended time and, and it was just, it was beautiful. So, well, and it gave us a chance, you know, they came and, and, and they were like, all right guys, we got work boots, we got work clothes, we're ready to go. Let's do projects. And we're like, no, you like you guys coming was the much needed little mini rest, break yeah. kind of rest. But and, we did. We ended up working. And we did. I mean, you guys know it. We can't sit down for very long. It's just not in our nature. Um, but it was, it was a fun job. It, it was. It was, job. It, was it. it was really fun and you know, got to explore. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we have the trail that we can take the side by side all the way down to the creek now. And mm -hmm. It's awesome. And actually, I'd found that I can drive through the creek a little bit and go up on the other side and hit a little bit of that old logging road mm -hmm. and explore a little bit more. Like, I can't drive quite to the very back property line yet, but that's coming. It's all in time. Yeah. Um, but it, it's nice because, no, like, when we have guests here, because going down to the creek, you guys have heard us say it a hundred times, going down isn't bad at all. You're like, hey, coming cool. Up is a whole thing. But coming up, you almost have to be an Olympic athlete to make it up there and not be out of wind and stop 15 times. And, you know, and we know that not all of us, uh, you know, not everybody lives a very super active physical, you know, a lifestyle that we live. And even then, like, we're not in greatest of shape ourselves, but. No, I got big boat, Jody. We, you know, I got the little test yesterday because, of course, we didn't. Oh, <laughs> so oh guys, gosh, this is funny. Um. You know, the the meetups are coming up soon, and we've got our two e-bikes, and they've been sitting all winter. Like, I've had them in the shed. They've been protected, but I'm like, we need to pull them out, and her and Benet were having their girl time and hanging out, and I looked at Eric and said, hey, you like riding bikes? And he's like, yep. All right, cool. Let's go. So, we fired them up, and, you know, I'm like... The battery life's probably a little low, but we're doing good. And so we ventured down the road a ways and um, got used to it, you know, knocked some dust off, made sure everything was working the way it's supposed to work. And then we'd come back and I'm like, man, I'm just, I'm having fun. Like, let's go a little bit further down the other way, you know. And, and dun, 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 I like dun. riding the roads around here on the e-bike, you know, because it's slower paced and you get to look at, you know, wildlife, trees, views, you know, you see so much more than you can in a car. And I found out that as long as the E part works, right? The electric motor kicks in. Those things are real fun. And, but the minute you don't have that battery E power, it ain't so fun anymore. No, nah. no, nah. nah. And I didn't know where they went. Not was... going up hills. We were like two miles from home. Uh, and I actually had went down a road that we hadn't went down before and I'm like, Hey, we're on the e-bikes. Like, why not go explore this road? It's the County road, you know, and got down it and I went down a big hill and started to come back up the hill and guess what? Battery. So yeah, my legs were rubber for the rest of the day. Like I've used leg muscles that walking around here and doing everything. I, it's not like pedaling and and those bikes are heavy. They are. When you don't have the motor power. Like, with, with the style that we have and the big fat tires, like, they're great as long as the electric part works. But, so, yeah, they need a charger now because that And, of course, was... I'm texting and being like, uh, I'm ready for you to start the grill. Like, I got everything prepped. I made my hamburgers. Like, everything was ready to roll. And I had enough energy to pull my phone out and go, okay. And I was like putting that back in and I'm breathing hard and it was cold. So like my lungs were hurting. I'm like, oh, this is not good. I haven't felt this in years and I don't like this, you know. And so it was a good little exercise and 
I, but I was blessed in the fact that it was mine and not Eric's because we were actually talking about that. He's like, man, I really hope these don't die because he's like, I don't know. You know, I'm not the most physically fit. And I'm like, neither am I. But, hey, phone call, truck, come but get me. The thing I don't understand is do, don't they have gauges on them to show you the battery life? They do. And, and Were you not paying attention? Oh, wait, hold on. It's the same as when you're in the truck, isn't it, baby? You don't pay attention to the E on the truck either. That's why there's a dinger light thing that says, hey, maybe you but should. But then be. when it goes off, you forget about that too. Not anymore as much. And when we started, so I knew the batteries were low. Like I said, we've went all winter long, not charged them. And I yours, I, yours actually was charged a lot better. But I kept cranking mine up to five and hot rod and stuff. But every time I would hit the electric motor, the battery level went to nothing. But then I let off and I hit three bars. And so I'm like, okay, I'm doing good. I'm do and I just, I pushed it. But I needed to. This was a scientific No, experiment. you really did push it, didn't you? <laughs> I, I did. I'm not going to lie to you all. <laughs> I, I made it funny. <laughs> I, down, I downshifted it. It was like, I'm just going to pedal up. This is like a mountain bike. No. No. But, but the nice thing anymore. was... As dead as it was, right, like the screen still powered up, like it had some reserve power, was I was able to get off, and instead of having to push myself and the bike, because I've discovered that there's some pretty good-sized, lengthy hills coming to we our place. We do live on a ridge, my love. And in the truck, they're not that big. They're just like, yeah, whatever, I can coast up. On a bicycle? No, you're... So I was able, there's called a, there's a walk mode on these e-bikes, and, but it go, it's like three and a half miles an hour. So I'm like, speed walk. Like, I'm dying here, you know, fat guy, heavy coat, like, legs are already burning. So, but the bike was able to add enough electric that it couldn't do it with me on it, but I could walk next to it, put it in the walk mode, and it powered itself up the hill. So it was kind of like your walker, and it kind of pulled you so you didn't have to exert yeah. as much effort. I'm thinking, like, if I, maybe I need, like, backup roller blades. And then I can, if it dies, I could, like, walk mode next. Or you just buy those Heelys, you know, those Heely shoes. Or I just, you know, charge the batteries and not yeah, push that. it. But that's me. Like, why not push push the limits? And we, Eric and I explored a little bit more area, and that was awesome. And we had a good time. And it was a good laugh when we got back. And I cured it with cold snacks. We were good. Oh, yeah. Definitely you've had your fair share of cold snacks. I wasn't alone. Somebody's had quite a few. Took down a couple vineyard, vineyards. But, 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 but words are hard. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, <laughs> not gonna lie. Uh, I we did pack in a little bit of extra something, something. Uh, Benet brought down several gifts and including what four bottles of wine, three or four bottles of wine, something like that. Ah, uh, from a vineyard back home, and so. Yeah, definitely dipped into that, dipped into my own stash. So yeah, but it was kind of like. But that's what you do when people weekend. come visit, yeah. right? Like that. That's for no. It's not what you do. We don't don't set the wrong precedents. For us, we gave ourselves permission to pretend it was kind of like a weekend. But I think it depends on the people, right? Mm -hmm. So not everybody that comes to visits wants to sit around like you know, that's not their thing, which is fine by us, right? But yeah. they happen to, like, that's the enjoyment is, the hey, bonfire. let's, let's have, have a bonfire. bonfire, let's sit down and have some cold snacks. Like, so we weren't mad and, and we know that that's not a repetitive, you know, like we aren't constantly going through yeah. that much yeah. all the time. But, you know, when the bonfire night was so much fun. Oh, it was. We sat around. I and, outlasted him by a while, a while. Eric bailed first. Well, I was actually shocked because y'all polished off a pretty good amount of wine, and, and we know you're a lightweight, and I'm like, I don't yeah. even know how she's still standing, let know. alone talking, and then was able to get up and move around and function, and I'm like, okay, well, whatever, and then Eric it was like, man, I, I think, I, yep, I'm done, and so he went to the Nugget, and it was probably three minutes, and I'm like, that guy's on to something, I'm out of didn't here. even say goodbye, I just see him... Because, like, Benet and I were on one side of the bonfire, and they were on the other side of the bonfire so that we could carry on joint conversations as well as individual conversations. And, like, he didn't even say a word. I just look over, and I see him stand up, and there he went. And I was like, well, you going to bed? <laughs> He's like, yo, yo. 
Yeah. And I knew. I was at that point, y'all. Like, um, I know that point, and it was like, just don't, do not pass go, do not collect $200, just go straight to bed. And Yeah. But it was all good. Yeah. And it, I was really hoping that we would have time to, like, leave the ridge and go explore, you know, go to the lake. If it would have been nice, we had plans to go kayaking, but with the weather taking a drastic 360, we just hung out here on the ridge and it was, it was awesome. But, but yeah, and that was a much needed and that's kind of, you know, like we were talking earlier was like, they were ready to come and work and stuff like that, but they're on vacation too. Like, and their thing was, Hey, we don't want to, you know, slow you guys up from progress. And we're like, no, this is like, we need this. So yeah. YouTube's secondary as much as we love you guys. Cause we do. YouTube is secondary to our life and we never want to be at a point where YouTube runs our life. Well, and I was talking more of just the actual physical projects, like just that being able to sit around um, and relax and, um, yeah. and not like we ended up working, like we said hmm? in that video. What, but it, was a, it was an easy and fun one. Well, if I can get it done, yeah, it's already one twenty two, So it might end up coming out tomorrow because I don't like putting videos out after 4 PM because they just go <laughs> Right on well, we'll see how it goes, and it's yeah, yeah. still so uploading either today cards. or tomorrow. Yeah, and that's still uploading. So now that our ridge visit is done, we have a lot to do because next week we leave out to go back to Tennessee because my dad is having surgery, and so we are going to be gone about a week. Right at the time it's plant time for the garden, so. Along with other projects this week, we've got to get the lick tubs all put in place. Uh, our frost date is midweek, so I should be able to move things outside, but I don't want all of our work to be in vain. So we are going to have to get everything squared away and ready for our trip. Um, the nugget will just need, because I deep cleaned it for Benny and Eric, so quick sweep wash the sheets and blankets and freshen up the towels and that should be ready to roll. So, cause we are going to take the nugget back to Tennessee uh, and we will be shooting cause my dad has a lot of projects that we can work on. My, we're actually going to be uh, going to my aunt Will and uncle Jerry's first and visiting with them for a night and then before heading to my dad's. So, We'll be filming and doing fun stuff there. Yeah. Uncle Jerry always has something going on. The, and, and, and I think the great part about it, and we had talked like with Eric and Benet being here, you know, because um, like we did the, our last coffee chat and a couple of you commented, it was like, Eric's really quiet. And, and um, he's a very he's talkative guy, but <laughs> it's different, you know, and, and we're so used to it now. We've been doing it long enough. So talking to a camera, um, you know, we're talking to you guys. So it's yeah. not like we're just talking, talking about a piece of equipment. We're telling you what we're doing and, and how we're feeling and what's going on. And so it's become natural to us. So now going back to like her dad's and, and aunt and uncle's is when we were there before, we never really got a lot of footage because we weren't like even comfortable. Like we were still trying to figure it out ourselves. That's the wind outside, y'all. And, you know, so now being able to go back, we, we're just going to be more prepared for being able to like maintain <laughs> the footage. Prepared. But That's so cute, baby. It sounded good, didn't it? <laughs> but We're going to try to be prepared. Yeah. But I think we're, we're definitely more, we're more prepared in the fact that like we're more comfortable with it. I guess maybe that's yeah. the word is just being more comfortable um, and being able to, you know, show you guys that kind of. Oh, y'all. Yeah. I and mean, when, I mean, if you go back, I did do a shirt that had my Uncle Jerry in it. My Uncle Jerry's a hoot. Mm -hmm. He is just, oh, y'all. Yeah, he's, he's something else. So he's really good on camera. Um, I don't know if I've had Aunt Willa or any of the cousins or nieces and nephew. I, I don't know. Uh, but there again, it's, it's our visit back to back to my home so uh cameras will be secondary we will try to bring y'all along for certain parts of it but i'm looking forward to spending time with my oh family. for sure yeah. like i mean that's that's obviously the number one priority right because yeah. we get to go back and we Make haven't sure my daddy is fine we haven't seen him and well it's been almost a full year now mm -hmm. so you know we're we're definitely way overdue and that's definitely rare excited. for me that's really rare for me because even before Moving down here, I was usually back in Tennessee a couple times a year, if not more. So, um, 
It's definitely time. It's definitely, I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready, but I'm not because uh, we have so much going on on the Ridge. And, but there's really, I mean, like we talk about it, right? There's never a perfect time for us to go because we always have, like mm -hmm. right now we have so much to go. Like, honestly, it would be to, to be realistic about it would almost be, all right, here's a five year plan. We're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything for the next five years because we need to build and do this. And, and we know there's a lot of you that watch a lot of the other homesteaders that have, you know, they've moved from their home state or where they grew up. And now they're living, you know, somewhere else. And, and that is a big struggle when you're trying mm -hmm. to build it. But, you know, we like to keep the balance as much as we can. And it's hard. I mean, you just have to force yourself to either, hey, I can't do that project right now. I need to go. Yeah. Um, but when you get, you know, stuff, we learned a lot last year with a garden deal. Yeah. And so we are being more conscious and cognitive of plant dates. Plant dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, what do those plants need? Watering systems, trellis systems, those types of things that we'll actually start implementing early this year. That's the goal anyways, right? Always a goal. Yeah. Um, but we're more aware of it. I mean, it's we're still learning. You know, like yeah. year one's always learning. Year two's always learning, right? You're learning. Like, it. I think for us, it's, it's, it's definitely... It's a multi-year, multi-learn process, and which I don't mind because, like it, I've said before, is I judge the successfulness of that day based off did I learn something, you know? Whether it was that day, did I learn to do it right or did I learn to do it wrong? What are the other like? But did you learn? And that's kind of our our big process for that. So. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to bop in and say hello. We are still here. We haven't forgotten about you guys. Sorry this is getting out late, so it's not even really a coffee chat, but it's more of a Tara and Jason chat, you know, and, and just kind of coming off them leaving and, you know, yeah, breaks my heart, but I know it's not the last yeah. time. We're definitely making plans to, to visit with them as well. So, but thank you guys for being patient with the videos uh, for us uh, and recognizing and respecting our, our time with friends. We we love you for it and we're so appreciative. We had some amazing comments. So yeah. thank you guys so much. And So uh, keep them comments coming, yeah. guys. And and if you're liking it, share it out. Maybe you're going to, some of your friends are going to like it too. So, uh, but we appreciate you all being here. We huh. really do. Uh, this, this does a lot more for us than we ever expected it would. It does. And, you know, and we appreciate you all for the support. So yep. with that, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.